I've been sitting here all day trying to think of someone worse than Mock Draft Guy, and no one is coming to mind. Mock Draft Guy is currently number one on my big board of losers. Oh, what's that? You've got four quarterbacks going in the first round? Whoa! Whoa! I bet you also have zero friends going to your draft party. Look, don't get me wrong. I like the draft. I love the draft. I love talking about the draft. I even like a lot of people who do mock drafts, but that's not going to stop me from calling them out because trying to map out the draft like you have a clue might be the biggest way of time of all time. These people are like early explorers trying to map out the globe. They think the earth is flat and we wish they'd all fall off the face of it. Like, how are you even going to predict this thing? It's like trying to predict which hot model Pete Davidson is going to date next. You have no idea. The answer always surprises us and never makes any sense. So why even try and guess? People who do mock drafts, adults who celebrate their half birthday, and people who respond to the question, did you get a haircut with? Nope. I got them all cut. Should all go to dinner together because they have a lot more in common than I think they realize. My guy James at South Texas Titan had one of the best takes on mock drafts I've ever seen. He said, doing mock drafts is LARPing. Live action role playing. I mean, it's so true. I mean, trying to come up with who the Vikings are going to pick at 12 is no different than throwing on some medieval clothing and fake sword fighting dragons in a park. But at least those doofuses seclude themselves to soccer fields. Whereas mock draft guys plaster their stuff all over the internet. Mock draft 7.0 is here. Click this link to read. Big shakeup at number 8 on my latest mock draft. Check it out. Mock draft 13 is here. Available on my Patreon. Good job with your latest mock draft, Craig. Would you get six clicks to your blog spot? And that's the thing, too. It's not like these doofuses do one mock draft. These things are like Lay's potato chips with the fact that no one can have just one. Like, black tar heroin has to think that these things are addictive. Hey, what's up, bro? You want to sample some of this latest mock draft? Take a key bump of this latest mock draft, bro. I swear, it'll rock your world. Hell, I doubt John Robinson even does that many mock drafts. You have a better chance of filling out a perfect March Madness bracket than you do of nailing your mock draft. Then again, you have a better chance of nailing your mock draft than you do anyone. Hell, you have a better chance of getting Pete Davidson sloppy seconds than you do of going perfect until the second round. And even then, the best mock drafters get what? Like, half right? If people are that into seeing someone hopefully score a 16, then you guys should come watch me take the ACT. Look, we don't want to see your mock draft in the same way we don't want to listen to your podcast. We don't want to see your mock draft in the same way we don't want to hear about your fantasy team. We don't want to see your mock draft in the same way we don't want to see pictures of your kids. It goes mock drafts, opinions, and buttholes. Everyone has one, and they all stink. There are some things in this world you should just keep to yourself, like mock drafts and pictures of Pete Davidson kissing. Now, with that said, who do you guys think the Titans are going to take it in the first round?